Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm sharing you 10 awesome tricks that will level up your experience on the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. So from protecting your privacy with app pinning and time limited shares to customizing your lock screen and gaming performance, these tips will make your phone smarter and more powerful. So if you enjoy what you see, don't forget to like, subscribe and drop a comment with your favorite trick. So let's dive right in. So the first feature is app pinning. So app pinning locks a single app on your screen so others can't exit the app or access anything else on your phone without unlocking it. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and open up the task manager. So say for example, you want this person to stay only on TikTok. So to do this, go ahead and tap on TikTok, then tap on pin this app. So now this app is pinned. So to unpin it, you need to go ahead and touch the task manager and the back button together. And this will basically go into the lock screen. So if you press OK, so now when you press home, or if I press back, or if I press the task manager, I won't be able to go out of the screen. So this is great if you're giving your phone to someone just to have a look at this particular app, or maybe you're giving it to your child for them to watch TikTok videos. He or she will not be able to exit this app. So if he or she tries to press the back button and the task manager together. This will basically take them to the lock screen. Now this person has unlocked the screen in order to get out of this. Without that, this phone is locked now. So this is great for your privacy and security. So it's great when you're handing your phone to someone else. So it's keeping them in one app only. It is also kid safe. So if you let your children use YouTube or games without risking access to messages or settings, and also it helps you as well because it's focus mode. So it's useful during presentations or kiosk mode setups on your Samsung S25 Ultra. The second feature is private share. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, you can use Samsung's private share to send images that expire after a certain time. And you can also add optional watermarks and also allow this option to save or not save. So let me show you how to do this. So first you want to go ahead and open up your gallery. Next, find what you want to share. So for example, let's go ahead and share this cube here. So if I want to share this, I can go ahead and tap on share. And then I'll go ahead and tap on quick share here at the bottom left. Tap on this. Now, once you do this, you will come to this screen. So as you can see, this is one image which is shared. So if I want to go ahead and share this in private share, I can go ahead and tap on the three dots and then tap on turn on private share. Now here I can go ahead and set the expiry date. So let's just say one day. So after one day, this media will basically disappear. So you won't be able to share it. Now, if I tap on this three lines here, I can see the private sharing history. So I can see who I've shared it with and so on. So once I'm ready, I can go ahead and share it to any Samsung user. And this will basically share it as a private sharing. So it will share it with an expiry date. You can even add watermarks and also you can prevent screenshots or the download of those images through private sharing. So this is great for privacy control as you can decide how long a recipient can access your content and it's safe sharing as it prevents screenshots or downloads of sensitive images. The third feature is lock screen animation. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, if you want an animation, which is like this on your phone, then let me show you how to do this. So with good locks, wonderful module, you can basically add a lock screen animation to your S25 Ultra lock screen. So you can add like different animations. So let me show you how to do this. So to do this, you need to first go ahead and open up the Galaxy Store. So this is a store which is similar to your Play Store. Here you need to go ahead and search for an app called Good Lock. Go ahead and download it and then open it. Now in the Good Lock app, you're looking for the Wonderland module. So tap on this. Now here to create a lock screen animation tap on new now you want to go ahead and select a wallpaper so i've downloaded a wallpaper so for example this one here next i'll go ahead and press close now i can go ahead and choose the animation so i can have a crt pixelate ripple spear warp edge blur hexagon a flip or a slide or a fluid one so i'll go ahead and choose a warp one, press close. Now I can go ahead and adjust how fast or how slow I want it in and what degree angle. Once I'm happy, I can press close. And now I can go ahead and save this. So I'll give this a name, save it. And now it'll ask me if I want to set this as my wallpaper. 
So I'll say yes, I want to save this as a wallpaper. I'll go ahead and set it for my lock screen only. And I just want the animation on the lock screen. Now, when I go ahead and lock your screen and uh, unlock it, wake it up, you'll see the animation on your lock screen. So this will make your lock screen reflect your style. So you enjoy a fluid unlock transition and it makes your phone look cool as well. The fourth feature is keeping your apps open in recent apps. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, you can lock important apps in the recent screen so they aren't closed accidentally when you tap close all. So here, if you go ahead and open up your task manager, and let's just say you want a particular app open and you don't want it closed. So as an example, I'll go ahead and choose TikTok. So to keep this open, I'll go ahead and tap on the TikTok icon and then I'll choose keep open. Now here, this will place a padlock on that TikTok screen. Now I'll go ahead and choose another app which I want to keep open. So let's just say, for example, this calendar app. I'll go ahead and tap on the calendar app and then tap on keep open. Now, say for example, I just go ahead and close all. So once I do this, all the apps will be closed apart from those two apps, which I have locked. So that is TikTok and the calendar app. So the benefit of this, uh, you keep ongoing chats, forms, or maybe any other applications. So there's a convenience as well. So you quickly return to important tasks or apps without restarting that app. So if you may be surfing on TikTok, you can go ahead and return back to the TikTok and go ahead and start surfing it, press home. The lock is still there. You can go ahead and open other apps and you can go ahead and close all the apps, but TikTok and the calendar will still be open. The fifth feature is customizing Google search widget. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, you can add a Google search widget to your home screen and personalize its color, transparency, and shortcut. So here I've added a shortcut here for the widget. So for those of you who don't know how to do it, you can go ahead and pinch in, tap on widgets, scroll down and find Google. You do need Google installed on your Samsung S25 Ultra in order to get this widget. Scroll down and find this four by one widget for Google. So go ahead and add this to your home screen. Now, once added to customize this, as you can see, it looks really dark on my wallpaper and it basically blended in into my wallpaper. So I want this widget to stand out. So in order to do that, I'll go ahead and long press on it. Then I'll tap on settings. Now here, this will allow me to customize this. I can go ahead and choose system. I can go light, dark, device settings, or I can also choose my custom color. I can even change the transparency of it. And then here I can go ahead and choose shortcuts. So I can add different shortcuts. If I don't want any shortcuts, I can go ahead and press none. I can go ahead and add translate shortcut, song search, weather, translate, sports, dictionary, homework, finance, saved, and news. So these are all the shortcuts you can add to your Google search widgets. And once you're happy, you can go ahead and tap on back. And now your Google search widgets has been customized to your liking. So it basically gives you a custom look so you can match it with your wallpaper and you have quick access to your shortcuts. So you can add shortcuts to your favorite search types like songs or locations. The sixth feature is the drag and drop search from results on Google or anywhere. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, you can drag your search results bar to open it directly in Samsung Note or internet without leaving your current screen. So as an example here, I've got internet open. And here, say for example, I'm just Googling about strawberries. Now here, I want to go ahead and read this part. However, I want to go ahead and open up another link which I've seen down below. So if I want to open up this link and also read that small article on strawberries, I can do this by going ahead and long pressing on it. And then I can go ahead and drag it to the bottom right. And this will basically allow me to open this in multi window. So I can go ahead and drop this. Now this will open up the link, which I've just dragged and dropped somewhere. And here at the top, I can go ahead and continue reading this article and I can go ahead and at the bottom, I can go ahead and look at the other page, which I've opened. So it gives you a split view reference. So you keep your main screen active while researching other things. So this is smooth multitasking, no need to toggle between apps. You can browse here. And you can also browse over here as well. This even allows you to compare two things. So for example, you're buying strawberries and you can compare the price, maybe the variety of strawberries they offer and so on. The seventh feature is creating custom stickers with AI select. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, you can use AI select to extract an object from an image and save it as a custom sticker for messages or social media apps. So let me show you how to do this. So here is an example. I'll open up internet. 
and I'll just go ahead and search for someone here, a cricket player. So let's just say, for example, I want to create a sticker out of this. However, I don't want all this background. I only want this person here holding the bat and the helmet. So in order to do this, I'll go ahead and bring down the edge panel. I'll go ahead and select the AI select. Next, I'll go ahead and select a square around this picture. And I'll go ahead and use my finger and tap on this person here. And now, as you can see, it has extracted the person from that image. And now here, there's an option here to say save as sticker. So I can go ahead and tap on save as sticker. Now I can go ahead and choose what type of stickers I want. Go just, I'll just leave it as original and I press done. Now the sticker has been saved. Now to use that sticker, I'll go ahead and open up the message app. Then I'll tap on the plus sign, then tap on the emoji icon, and then I'll use the AI Galaxy icon. So this will basically allow me to access all my stickers which I've created. Now I can go ahead and tap on that sticker which I've just created, and then I can go ahead and send this off. So the benefit of this is that you have personalized content, so you make your own stickers in seconds, and you have creative sharing, so you don't need any extra apps on your Samsung S20 for Voltro. The eighth feature is clearing duplicate WhatsApp media files. So on your Samsung S20 for Voltro, when you have WhatsApp installed, you need to check your internal storage for duplicate images and videos created by WhatsApp. So whatever you send and receive, basically WhatsApp will create duplicate files, and this will basically clog up your space on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So let me show you how to do this. So first you need to go ahead and open up the Files app, so My Files. Next you're going to go ahead and tap on Internal Storage. And here you're going to go ahead and select All, Android, then Media, and then go ahead and find WhatsApp. Tap on WhatsApp, now tap on Media, and then now you have an option to go into your WhatsApp images or your WhatsApp photo video. So now from here, you need to go ahead and manually go through all of these images and you need to find what is duplicate and you need to basically delete it. So you need to delete duplicates manually or you can use a cleaning app if available. So by clearing all these duplicate WhatsApp media files, you can basically free up space on your Samsung S25 Ultra. The ninth feature is sending pictures via Samsung Cloud link for full quality. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, instead of sending a file directly through WhatsApp, so by doing this and gallery, you can go ahead and send it through the Samsung Cloud, which is more private and you can basically send it in full quality. So instead of sending the image directly, which may duplicate files as well, you can use a share URL feature to send pictures or videos through Samsung Cloud. So this will preserve the original quality without using your local storage. So let me show you how to do this. So first go ahead and open up gallery. So say for example, I want to share this. So I can go ahead and tap on share icon, then tap on quick share. And then I can go ahead and tap on the QR code or link. Then I can go ahead and tap on copy link. Now I can go ahead and open up WhatsApp, go to the person who I want to share it with. Then I can go ahead and long press on it and paste that link. So now that person which just has to tap on that link and then go ahead and download it. So this way you maintain the full image quality while reducing local storage usage by letting recipients download the image from the cloud instead of sending it straight on WhatsApp. And lastly, the 10th feature is customize individual game boost settings. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, you have a built-in game booster, which lets you customize performance settings for each games individually. So you can fine tune how your phone behaves while playing specific games based on your preferences and gameplay style. So let me show you how to find the settings. So here you need to first go ahead and open up the Galaxy Store. In Galaxy Store, you need to go ahead and download an app called Good Lock. Go ahead and download this app. Once downloaded, go ahead and open the app. In the app, you need to go ahead and find a module called Game Booster. So that is the module Game Booster Plus. Tap on this. And from here, you need to go ahead and find this setting here. Enable Game Booster GPU settings. Tap on this. Go ahead and turn this feature on and then go ahead and tap on Customize for Individual Games. So this will take you into the Game Booster settings. Tap on Customization for Individual Games. Now from here, these are all the games which are on your Samsung S25 Ultra. You can go ahead and tap on any of them and you can go ahead and choose what options to customize. So game optimization, FPS, 
shown more FPS on that screen resolution and the frame booster. So go ahead and customize what you like and then press save. Now this basically gives you a smooth graphics and high frame rate for heavy games or it saves battery for casual ones. You have personal control, so every game has different demands. So this lets you tailor performance per title. It even avoids overheating and lag. So adjusting settings per game helps maintain thermal efficiency and reduces lag. And lastly, it also improves your battery life. And that's it for today. 10 incredible tricks to power up your Galaxy S25 Ultra. Which one was your favorite? Drop it in the comment section down below. And if you found any of these helpful, please like, subscribe, and share this video with your fellow Galaxy users. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.